Hi, hello. If you are into photography, then you know that the best time of day to shoot is the golden hour, right? But if you ever try to take a photograph into the sun with your drone, even an expensive one such as a DJI Mavic 2 Pro that I personally own, that you probably ended up with an image looking like this. Look at the sun. The highlight roll of is just terrible. It's just some blobs of solid color. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. All right, so we are here in Lightroom currently, and this is the drone shot that I will be presenting this technique on. I have taken this shot on my vacation in Mallorca, and you can see that the sun is pretty much setting here. And if we zoom in, we can see the issue around the sun. There is this white blob surrounded by this yellow blob, and then normal image. And when I first seen this, I was very disappointed because I thought that, you know, I've got a premium drone that was very expensive and I was expecting more from that. Even a cheap DSLR can produce a better highlight roll-off. So I was desperate to find an answer and believe me, I was trying everything in Photoshop. I was trying to cover it up with lens flares. I was trying to blur it. I was trying to smudge it. I was trying literally everything and nothing worked and nothing produced a result that would be satisfying to me. And the technique that I'm about to show you today, I actually discovered it by accident when I was creating my very own Lightroom presets. And if you want to learn more about the presets that I have created and actually download them for completely free right now, you can head over to the description of this video and learn more about that. So what you want to do in order to fix this is actually scroll all the way down the develop settings to the camera calibration section. And this section might sound very intimidating and kind of scary. I mean like camera calibration, oh my God, I don't want to calibrate my camera. I don't want to screw up something, but there's nothing you can screw up here really. This section is all about the way that Lightroom interprets the individual channels that your camera captures in order to capture a colorful image. So red, green, and blue. And you can nudge the hue and saturation sliders for all three of those channels in order to affect globally your image. So there are two options to fix the sun here. First, you can grab the hue slider of the green primary and drag it to the right, observe what happens with the sun. It's already pretty much fixed. Or if you don't wanna mess with the hue, you can actually take the saturation and drag it down to produce a similar effect. So let's drag the hue to the right again and you can see that the sun at this point is pretty much fixed. But the problem with camera calibration adjustments here is that they are global adjustments. There is no way to make them locally in Lightroom. So if you don't mind how this adjustment affects your entire image, you're pretty much done here. But if you want to make it a localized adjustment only around the sun, you're gonna need Photoshop for that. So right click on the image and create virtual copy. Then on one of the images, make sure to disable this adjustment. Then select both images, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And here in Photoshop, we can zoom into the sun and make sure that the layer with the fixed sun is actually sitting on top. So in my case, this is the one on the top that I want. We can actually rename it to fixed sun. And then what you want to do is grab a elliptical marquee tool and just make a selection around the sun. Something like this. And then when the selection is active, make sure that the layer with the fixed sun is selected right here and click on the layer mask button right here. Photoshop will add a layer mask so that only the part around the sun is here visible from this layer and everything else is concealed. If we zoom in even more, we can see that there is a harsh edge here. And in order to smooth it out so that this layer is blending nicely with the underlying layer, we need to select the mask, actually double click on it. This will open the properties window and then you can slide the feather slider to the right in order to feather this mask. And you can see that this blends in really nice. At this point, if you would like to make a further adjustments to the shape of the mask, you can actually click on the chain button here to unlink the layer mask from the layer, then make sure that the layer mask is selected here, hit the command or control T to activate the free transform tool, and then you can actually move this around, you can resize this, 
and then when you're done, you just hit this button to accept it. And now you're pretty much done. Alright, that's basically it for me for today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below, it really makes a difference. And also, if you have another way with dealing with blown out sun in your drone photographs, leave a comment down below, I would love to know how you do it. But that's basically it for me for today. Consider subscribing to the channel because I usually upload photography tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, drone flying tutorials, and sometimes vlogs or travel videos. So yeah, if you are interested in any of that, you know what to do. But that's basically it. Have a good day, see you next time and bye bye.